you've got your handle all, uh, all so you're completely happy, fitting in the mortise, all good to go. The last step before you're ready to put it all together is to round uh, round the square corners off. So that'll be uncomfortable. You can carry that around with a load of tools in it, it's not going um, to feel very nice. And it, this also gives you an opportunity to use the moulding planes, which are really nice, to really nice tool to use. Um, and cheap, well, get these car loop sales and stuff for a couple of quid and get a box for it for a few quid. And, uh, and they're really nice, nice to use. So it's a, this is a hollow moulding plane, so you see that I've got like a scoop out of it and you can get all different sizes and it'll do the job, same sort of job that a router will do. I'm going to round over this sharp edge here, this sharp corner. What you do, you hold it like that, it's about 45 degrees off of that curve, and you've been planing for a long while. Now, so the, the idea of keeping the pressure even all the way along the top, you, you, you're getting that with a smooth plane, a jack plane. It's the same principle with the uh, with the modern plane. It's really, it's really really important that you keep the pressure nice and even all the way along the cut. Because what you can do, if you don't do that, it's very easy to have a heavy foot here, heavy foot there, and not so heavy in the middle. It looks a bit uneven, so just trying to watch out for that. And you probably want to practice on a bit of strap, but one of, your, one of the practice handles that you've uh, that you use when you're doing the practice tennis. So I'm just keeping that nice and even. I'm watching my cut, trying to compensate if I putting a bit more pressure on one end or the other. And the trick with this is it's a bit addictive, so it's knowing when to stop. It's quite a nice thing. It is a really nice tool. So what I've done on there, if you look, if you, if you come in, I've just put a segmental curl on. It's nice and even from the back. So I can do four of those all the way around, chopping them in. Um, but it's worth experimenting with, it, with um, having a play around with how things look as well. So, Got a couple of ways of doing that. Can you see that? It's a bit light in there. But um, what I've done there is, yeah, what you call a segmental curve. So that's part part of the curve. If I did that full curve, it's probably going to come around like that. That would be the the quadrant. If you're going to put a radius, it'd be about there. Mm -hmm. So right, it's like it. I like it. I, I use them quite a lot. If you wanted to do a more blended curve, something like that, where the radius would be. The in, inside of it. Um, you can do both to be honest, you could do maybe a segmental curve on the top and something a bit more rounded so it's comfy underneath. Whatever floats your boat. But um, if you want to do a more rounded, more blended curve, the technique is similar. But uh, what you start to do, once you once you've um, started to form that, uh, that segmental curve, you just start to raise it up a little bit. So if you think that that's it, so that's 12 o'clock, that's 9 o'clock, and I started at half past 10, and you just come up to about 11 o'clock, and you go down to about 8 o'clock. Don't go all the way, all the way down, because you've got a really sharp corner here and here, and if you come all the way up, what you find is that corner will dig in, so you're watching out for that. So once you've done that, get your nice fine set smoothing plane and um, and just get the machine marks off of the flat sides as well. Now there's uh, a sequence to it, and I I did nothing. It's not set in stone, but um, thank you. But as a, as a general rule of thumb, if you want that, that really blended curve, you want to get that... They wander away from the door, that's what happens. If you, oh no, there's nobody here, they wander away. And you let them in. Can't get back. You can pick it. You ought to have CCTV in there. Right, so yeah, so if you want that nice blended curve where it's very organic, very natural, you want to get your smoothing plane and take all the machine marks off this first. So you do the smoothing plane first and then you put your radius on. If you want a segmental curve with nice sharp corners, you put your curve on and then go back over the smoothing plane. So if you've got both on one piece of wood, then you've got to pay your money and take the choice. But it's not, not hard at all anyway, really. 
have a bit of an experiment, have a play around with, with that and, uh, and see, see how you get on. It usually takes a little, a little while, a couple, of, a couple of goes just to get it so you can get them all nice and even front to back and that radius matching that one, matching that one, matching that one. So have a bit of practice and we want to end up.